हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू रिव्यू माजा सो टुडे वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ओके द क्वेश्चन इज इट्स फ्रॉम मिस्टर अभिषेक एंड ही वांट्स लेट्स आई वुड लाइक टू यूज एन आर ओ टू रिड्यूस द टीडियस ऑफ टैप वाटर फॉर बाथिंग नॉट फॉर ड्रिंकिंग इट इनलेट वाटर टीडियस इज नाइन आई वुड लाइक टू रिड्यूस इट टू टू फिफ्टी not to 90 or lower than that but i think of using 2 to 3 ro membranes in series with booster pumps in between the membrane to reduce the waste water <coughs> from the ratio of 4 is to 1 can you give any suggestions how can a flow restricted be used to increase the ro output to get high tds up to 250 higher tds i don't mind replacing the ro membrane due to premature flowing once in 6 months ओके ओके सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर द क्वेश्चन एंड फर्स्ट थिंग इज फर्स्ट दैट व्हाट आर योर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ यूज एज यू हैव टोल्ड मी दैट यू आर यू आर गोइंग टू यूज इट फॉर बाथिंग पर्पज ओनली सो आई वुड लाइक टू सजेस्ट यू दैट यू कैन गो फॉर अ स्मॉल वाटर सॉफ्टनर प्लांट रादर देन गोइंग फॉर ए आर ओ प्लांट बिकॉज आर ओ वाटर सॉफ्टनर वॉट इट विल डू इट विल सॉफ्टन द वॉटर and uh, it will reduce the hardness of water that means it will solve your purpose because uh, it in a water softener there won't be any wastage of water so you will be saving a lot of water wastage and in uh, water softener your maintenance cost will be also very low and other things that uh, for bathing ro water using ro water is not a good idea because as uh, <coughs> as you write it rightly pointed out the wastage water will be a lot and uh, that wouldn't be a good idea and absolutely 900 uh, tds is very high rich in uh, very high in minerals the water the inlet water is having very high minerals in your uh, in your tap water or bore your bore water so i would suggest that you would go for you better go for a water softened plant a uh, water softened plant might be it starts from 500 liters uh, to 1000 liters minimum 200 liters also there are some softener plants who can uh, soften 200 liter per day and uh, the charging you need to charge the water softener with our regular salt that is table salt so its uh, running cost and maintenance cost is also very low and other thing if you wish to go for a ro plant then you can as you have suggested rightly that uh, ro membranes uh, 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 putting ro membranes in series so absolutely in series that will cause the what will happen a first membrane if you put three membranes in series what will happen first membranes uh, reject water will be a input for second membrane that means if first if you first membrane if you are putting your uh, 900 tds water the reject water will be almost uh, you double the amount that will be it will be almost uh, 2200 tds reject water around 2000 tds let's assume 1800 to 2000 tds and that will be the input tds for the second membrane and that again that will reject some water that will be having tds of almost 4000 that means how much pressure the entire membranes will be handling uh, you can just imagine because uh, you are just uh, feeding the entire ro membranes with higher and higher tds absolutely the wastage will be reduced but at the cost of your membranes uh, i would suggest your membranes second and third membranes i would suggest it won't last even up to let's say a month you will have to replace the membranes very recently very frequently so it is not suggestible and another thing if you are applying a booster pump in between the membranes that means if you have if you are applying a membrane a booster pump a membrane after that after that from the reject water you are again applying a booster pump in series so what will happen the booster pump will create suction enough that will cause the 
pressure drop into the first membrane vessel that will that will not be a suggestible thing <clears throat> rather than going like this you can do is go parallel you can put parallel ro membranes separately with separate pumps with separate separate flow restrictors and even there are systems like 100 liter per day sorry 100 liter per hour systems are there 250 liters commercial ro systems are there but uh, i would highly suggest you you please first go and try uh, go go for a what to softener plant for your household applications because using a ro is not suggestible and even <coughs> uh, it will not be economical for a long run part if you are looking for a long run or long run part you should go for a water softener that is really economical and it will serve you a long run long run ways and uh, if you have as you have suggested flow restrictors <coughs> in that case uh, when you are putting ro membranes in series uh, the first the ro membrane first ro membrane the second ro membrane and third ro membrane the last ro membrane will be having a flow restrictor in between there won't be any flow restrictors because as uh, uh, as the water passes from first ro membrane to the second ro membrane it will be like directly it will be the uh, reject water pipe will go directly to the feed water of the second ro membrane and similarly at the last ro membrane it will be uh, the flow restrictor that too you'll have to uh, use a adjustable flow restrictor according to the calculations what tedious or uh, feed water you or uh, product water you want you will require to use a adjustable tedious setting uh, you can also use a tedious adjuster in the place of the flow restrictor but that is again a great risk of having uh, damage your membranes because if you are not good at that you may end up damaging all of your membranes and uh, a membrane using in series requires very great expertise because uh, at end of the day you are you are means uh, supplying higher and higher tedious waters to the last most membranes and absolutely that will cause falling very frequently so friend please give it a thought please give it a try go for research for water softener plants and please uh, tell your feedback about this video and what do you think thank you very much for your questions it has really helped me thank you very much